Is there a concern the further this goes, this becomes more and more difficult for people to justify? Absolutely. First of all, Israel has continuously said, civilians in northern Gaza, please move south. The northern part will be where we target Hamas to begin with. Now, 700,000 people have left already, but there are still thousands and thousands of people who either cannot leave because they're ill, they're old, and you've seen the roads, they're completely destroyed. And then you have, of course, people who refuse to leave. So when that's the case, and Hamas, as we know, hides behind civilians, their infrastructure is so infiltrated in civilian buildings, schools, mosques, hospitals, it is impossible, even if you have the most precise bombs and missiles, to not hit civilians. It is impossible. So Israel has said from the beginning, we're ready to do that, just so you're aware, because we are not going to allow Hamas to get away with what they did and then hide behind civilians, and then we just have to give up our fight. But they are concerned, because every time a, 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 an attack like this happens, the videos go viral. All the news broadcasts cover it. And of course, there are civilians among the casualties, but Israel keeps saying, this is our plan. There's no, there's no alternative. What do you want us to do? And just one last thing. Every time this happens, anti-Semitism just rises exponentially because people who choose to believe Hamas and the Palestinians and people who hate Israel and Jews, they see this as a genocide. Mm. That's literally what they see. So they will take this out on Jews, and we see that everywhere from the UK to Denmark to the US to Canada. So there is a big concern that Israel is now attacking Hamas targets in Gaza, but it's the collateral damage is not only the civilians inside Gaza, it's Jews abroad who are being persecuted for what's happening. And Yotam, what's, are there concerns among uh, civilians in Israel about the safety of hostages when we're seeing bombings like mm. this that are killing potentially, you know, up to 50 refugees? Obviously, um, you know, Israel is saying that it was actually a large number of Hamas that were taken out. Is there concern there that actually some of these Israeli hostages will end up becoming victims of the bombing? Absolutely. People are terrified in Israel, and especially those who have their their babies, their sons, their daughters, their grandmothers inside Gaza. For every hour that goes without them coming out in some sort of, sort of hostage deal, their level of stress and worry is just rising because they know that there is a likelihood that not only would they, could they be killed in an airstrike, Hamas has said that 50 hostages have been killed in airstrikes. Whether that's true or not, we don't know, but it's a psychological warfare. So people are terrified. And second of all, when Israel starts going into the tunnels, that's a nightmare scenario because Hamas has many of these hostages in the tunnels. And Israel doesn't know the ins and the outs of all these tunnels, which means it'll be very bloody in general, let alone having civilian hostages in there who might be killed in this. So there's a huge concern. There's one optimistic point here, and that is that Israel managed to save one Israeli soldier held hostage inside Gaza two days ago, and that was celebrated all across Israel and gave hope that maybe, maybe, maybe there is actually a way to get them out uh, by... Yotam, I have to say, of all the people I've spoken to, I think you make the greatest sense of a, a, a tragic situation. And the next hour, from a military point of view, you've got Chris Parry, former NATO commander. But I find myself sitting here thinking, and where does this end? What is the end game? I completely support Israel's right to, to do something about what happened to their people and get those hostages out. But as you quite rightly said, as Nick says... They might be bombing their own hostages, and the, and the collateral damage and public opinion is going to continue. Just very, very briefly, where does this end, Yeltsin? It, it ends with an uh, immediate uh, and interim occupation of the Gaza Strip by the Israeli forces, and then we'll have to see whether the Palestinian Authority will take over, or the UN, or if, if, if Israel will continue to occupy the Gaza Strip.